All right, uh, here's a little overview of my uh, recent install of the dress up bolts, titanium, engine bay bolts. Uh, dress up bolts is located here in Northern Virginia. They're down in Lynchburg. Well, I'm in Northern Virginia. They're in Lynchburg, about two hours uh, south, southwest. Um, I'll tell you right off the bat that my OEM bolts were, were beat. This is a 2004 Subaru STI GDB. Um, so you can imagine from a 2004 that the OEM bolts are going to be rusty. They're going to be, you know, not that, uh, not something you really want to be seen with, but nonetheless, you're, you know, attached to them within your engine bay. So, um, I'm a huge titanium advocate, titanium enthusiast, titanium freak, whatever you want to call it. I love titanium items, even down to my titanium exhaust, which I'm running uh, the Tomei Extreme full titanium catback. But anyway, um, I will tell you that the OEM bolts weighed in at 10 and a half ounces, okay? These titanium ones packaged up weighed in at seven and a half, okay? So it's a little bit of weight savings. Obviously, if you're losing, looking to lose weight, replacing your engine bay bolts is not going to be the most advantageous, but nonetheless, uh, it is, uh, you know, an area where you can shed a few ounces. Um, the titanium tie-down we're looking at is a product of my buddy in Russia, um, Vladim Nazarov. Okay, so that matches the bolts quite well. These bolts came with my dress-up bolt kit. Uh, Nazarov supplied bolts are the same burn, but they're a little smaller in diameter. But either way, shout out to, uh, to Nazarov and what he does with titanium. So what I did was I chose the engine bay kit. This engine bay kit is going to replace 100% of your engine bay bolts. Engine bay bolts, um, I would refer to as the bolts that hold down um, the items around your motor. Around your motor, okay? So we've got the washer bolts, we've got the strut tower bolts, We've got the hood, and I'm gonna make up a word or a term here. I'm gonna call these, uh, what am I gonna call these? I don't know, endpoint to chassis bolts, um, headlight bolts, okay? Um, I chose the blue because I'm also running the Sun Hyper Ground Hyper Voltage system that comes in blue, right? One, two, and one, right? So the blue really makes the engine bay pop. I like it, super professional. Um, the bolts in particular are unique as they are a rounded head to them. Let's see if I can get a better, better, there, that's better. They have a rounded head to them and they have a recessed uh, inner uh, diameter or inner, um, it's proper terminology for it. it. Uses a five millimeter hex. So that five millimeter hex uh, insert insertion point is recessed, but nonetheless the bolts are rounded. I, I really like that as compared to the OEMs to where you'll notice the OEMs are more of a square. Okay, so again, this kit is going to take care of the bolts around your motor. Okay, including the hood latch. All right, it also takes care of the upper portion of your latch up here so um, I'm a big fan I like it I'm super happy with the product uh, I like how the engine bay pops I like how the bolts are a uh, have more of a luster to them but not to the point to where they stand out as if you know if I decided to go with I don't know another color that did not flow with the scheme on my engine bay the blue is still pretty happy around the around the green, the Sims cap, and the uh, uh, focus focus. You gonna focus for me? Not really. Okay. It still flows around the green, around the interstate battery, and around the Sims cap, even around the yellow. So everything is still pretty pretty complementary. So choose your uh, choose your um, your colors wisely. Okay. Most definitely choose your colors wisely. Your colors are gonna be, options are blue, titanium burned, black, polish, 
gold, and purple. There is no option for red. From what I am told, when you burn titanium, red is not a product of the burn. So there is no option for red. There's no option for lime green. There's no option for Getty green. There's this, which, you know, it's gonna be blue, purple, gold, yellow, black, or polished. I was gonna go with the black, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, the blue, the blue sits very well. The blue sits very well. The black would have been all right, but it would have been a black on black, which would have been a bit harder to see in my opinion. Um, the last thing that I will point out to you is, if you are using Grim Speed 90 degree hood struts, my hood goes out to be 90 degrees. It might not look that way, but it does. Okay, the supplied, bra the supplied bracket with the Grim Speed hood strut is thicker than OEM. That means that it's going to need a longer bolt. This Grim Speed supplied bolt is longer than the supplied titanium one. These titanium bolts are meant to be installed in OEM uh, locations with OEM hardware. Since these struts are not OEM, the supplied bolt is not long enough. So what I did was I left the OEM bolt in place took the titanium bolt that's supposed to be there and I substituted it to hold down my OEM uh, air induction funnel, right? So there's one here and then there's one here. So you can get creative with where you put them if you have one or two extra. Um, I also had two extra bolts because as I mentioned, the Grim Speed hood strut is going to affix to this point here and it's also going to affix to this point here. You will not be able to use the titanium bolts that are supposed to go there. So I took those two titanium bolts and I placed them here at my top mount tie down. And I really like it. I'm cool with it. You know, I don't have a problem with that. Um, so that's a little overview of the dress up bolts, uh, titanium uh, bolt kit. I'm a fan. I really like it. Um, you know, it's just it's uh, some more some more of the small things that really matter um, I'll show you Here Here, let me see if I can get a shot suns in my way But uh, yeah, I'm good with it. I, I really like it. So uh, Hit me up if you want to purchase it www.topshelfandrareparts.com That's the web store Facebook page is top shelf and rare parts uh, And that's about it Yep, hope you enjoy. Thanks.